and didn't let them go, right? So there's something that they saw that was valuable about, about what they were bringing to the table, but they didn't think that they, they, my averageness as an employee, right, allowed them to let go of me. So watch this. I was average as a husband. I was average as an employee. I was average as a student. And because I was average in all those areas, it led to failure. And so that's simply my, my, my like, if you get nothing else out of me being here, if, if I can help you just to live daily a life where you're trying to be excellent every single day and when you go to bed at night, you're able to say that, listen, I left it all on the table and I, if, if you can at least say that, I would say that you're successful, right? Because you can't control everything else, but you can control who you're gonna be within the situation. Why? Because as nice of a person as I might be, it still does not negate the fact that if you are going to make yourself valuable to what I like to call the marketplace, then the marketplace expects you to, to have some sort of skill, all right? There, there has to be something that you can actively do. There has to be something that you bring to the table aside from just being a nice guy, but I have evidence. So I, I was blessed to be able to write the book, right? I was blessed to be able to go to grad school and graduate with a 3.8 GPA this time, right? Right, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I went from being uh, let go from my job and to now uh, being a pastor and also a program coordinator for a nonprofit in Washington, D.C. There are other people that came before you that made some decisions also. Your parents made some decisions. Like, like we can't get away from the fact that part of where we are is based on the decisions that our parents made before us, all right? And the, the, where you might fall into a trap sometimes or where we might fall into a trap sometimes is that We'll look at it and say, that, oh, it's my parents' fault that why I'm in a certain place. And that's why I say, listen, while, while you may think it's your parents' fault, it's still your responsibility, right? Because at the end of the day, your parents cannot live that life for you. Now, this is also a truth that I found out. While you may have failed, you are not your failure. And that's exactly what, um, that's what, um, Reverend BJ helped me with, right? When he told me, listen, Vaughn, you have to remember that most people still think, still value who you are. You, you, you have to remember that, why? Because if, if you don't, you'll get caught up in thinking that because you fail, that you are a failure. And if, the, the thing about it is, if you are congruent, if you and failure are congruent, that means that there's no coming back from that. Like if, if, you, if you are the epitome of failure, then what can you do? If, if I am a failure, then that means that anything I touch will fail, right? But if I have failed, but I am not a failure, that means that I can separate myself from that failure and go ahead and do things that are successful. Got it? All right.